The Value of Silence Ladies and gentlemen, there is a saying like this. Learning to speak takes only two years, but learning to be silent takes a lifetime. The truth is that most successful people always know how to speak in the right way, in the right way. They will never speak without a reason, nor will they say meaningless things. Because of this, they will waste their time and self-destruct if they make a mistake. To them, speech is a kind of training in life. Because good things, if said correctly, will easily promote success, achievement as desired. A wise person understands that silence is not the resistance to accept defeat, nor is it weakness, silence is an art that you have to spend a lot of time to master. In many cases, your humble silence is worth more than a thousand words. Let's listen and reflect on life together. First, words can never be taken back. In the first century BC, the Romans said, I often regret what I say, but I never regret my silence. Words help people understand each other, get closer, but sometimes a word can ruin all good relationships, words can make others happy, but an unintentional or intentional word can also hurt people deeply. If you keep your habit of saying everything without thinking, as long as you can say your point of view and regardless of it, in the end, there will be times when you say the wrong things, even hurting the other person. So you need to learn how to control yourself and keep silent at the right time. Because sometimes, words actually mean nothing, but if you don't say it, it's better. If you don't say it, others will not be able to misunderstand you. From there, there will be no unworthy contradictions. For a long time, we have thought that silence will make many people feel suffocated. Each of us has felt uncomfortable when there was nothing to say, leading to trying to say things that are vague or even meaningless. It all depends on what you are in this situation. If your friend is in trouble and needs to be shared, then give them the space to say what is deep in their hearts. No one knows if what you say will make the other person feel better or not. But once you say it, you can't take it back. So be careful before you say it. Don't let your words become a weapon that accidentally hurts others. Silence is the highest level of human intelligence in life. From the foundation of that intelligent silence, we will know when and what to say. Silence is not to speak when it is not necessary, because that speech can bring harm to yourself or harm others. Silence is to listen to others, to learn, to show respect. Silence also shows calmness, awareness of yourself and life before speaking or acting. Silence is to maintain harmony in conflicts and clashes. Silence is also a way to show sympathy or opposition to a problem. Silence is to sympathize and share the pain of others. Silence is to feel the beauty of life around you. To nurture the soul. Silence is also to love forgiveness and life, silence is sometimes the best answer. Let every silence be a time when you feel peaceful. Even if time can't speak, it will always give you the most accurate answer. Anyone who learns to be calm and mature, that person will always receive rewards from life. Third, listen. You will learn a lot. If silence is gold, then listening is diamond. Why is it so valuable? Because when you speak, you only say what you know, but when you listen, you can learn a lot. But our common habit is that what we know, we have to tell you everything. Because of our arrogance, regardless of what we say, we always think that we are the right person. Sometimes we feel uncomfortable when we can't say all our thoughts, because we are afraid that if we don't say it, others will think we don't understand. Then when we become more mature, it is also when we become more mature, not because we are dissatisfied with life or any other reason, but because we are deep enough to understand that it is time to be silent to listen. Silence is not not talking to others, but listening and giving others a chance to express their point of view. Each of us has certain shortcomings. Knowing how to listen to others is also a good way for us to give up the knowledge we lack. Moreover, sometimes people come to you not to talk to you, but they need to be shared and listened to. Your sincerity in listening not only helps them to overcome difficulties, 
but also helps to increase the trust of others in you. Don't wait until you're old to realize that, learn how to listen right now. Fourth, speak at the right time. Listening helps you learn many things, but it doesn't mean you just keep silent and don't say anything, you should choose the right time to speak and think carefully before speaking, as well as accepting other people's opinions. Because speaking is to affirm the value of courage, to show your initiative and confidence in expressing your point of view. Speak up to fight against evil, and to defend the good and the weak, speak up to express love. Love, encouragement, sharing, helping others. Speak up to bring joy and laughter to life. Each of us needs to realize the right situation, the right position, the right will, the right kindness, the right heart, to know when to speak up and when to be silent. Remember that you need to become a person who speaks and has strength. You don't need to say too much, but every sentence must go into your heart, and the most important thing is to be honest with yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, creating a tongue for us to speak, but giving us two ears to hear, means that we need to hear twice, let your speech become more valuable by carefully considering and accepting other people's opinions. Knowing how to speak is a necessary skill, but the more important skill is knowing when to be silent. Because sometimes silence is much stronger than a beautiful word with wings, so everyone should learn to be silent at the right time to find the way to success, and to always be optimistic before anything happens in life. And here are the times in life that you should keep silent. First, when there is no truth, Albert Einstein, the German physicist, once said, people who do not value the truth in trivial matters cannot be trusted in big things. This shows that in life or in work, you always remember to abide by the three principles of truth, loyalty, and benefit. You may agree or disagree with this view. But talking about a topic that you do not have accurate information about may be seen as meaningless, and if it is a sensitive issue, we should try to keep silent until we know the whole truth. Second, when words can offend others. During a heated discussion, you may say something that hurts others, sometimes we say something offensive out of jealousy or contempt. It's usually offensive words. But if you are serious about yourself, you will see the consequences of these words when they are spoken, so, in a debate, silence will help you listen better. Silence is the strongest answer, and it will help you keep your image as a dignified person. If you need to give a comment about someone or something you don't like, spend 5 seconds to think before you speak. Third, when your negative emotions are high. When you are angry, there is no rule that says you have to talk to everyone when you are in this bad state. Negative emotions can make you go down a path that you don't want to go, anger can't solve anything. It can even make you go down a worse path. An old saying goes, when you are angry, you lose your temper, it means that when you are angry, you shouldn't say anything. Because many people don't think anything when they are angry, they just say negative things. You just need to hurt the other person and whatever they do or say, they can say it, but when you calm down, you can regret and regret what you said. Many people make a mistake when they make a decision when they are angry, and then they are the worst person. So, whatever you want, if you are angry, and your mind is not thinking properly, don't say anything, just calm down and think. When you are angry, or negative emotions go away, just say it. Fourth, when you have nothing to say, talking with your friends is a good way to build friendship. But why do we feel like we have to say something when we have nothing to say? No one praises you for saying a lot when your words are bad or bad. Fifth, when you have nothing to say, fifth, when you have nothing to say. If you don't understand or don't want to understand your point of view, you can't change them, and they will never give you the right answer. So keep quiet and give your words to other meaningful conversations. In fact, listening attentively, that is, listening positively, is very rare. 
Understanding and having the ability to listen positively can lead you to new knowledge, expand your knowledge and improve the relationships around you. Dear friends, sometimes we need to talk, even talk a lot to benefit others, to reconcile, to harmonize and empathize, or to protect truth, however, sometimes we need silence. At that time, silence is much more valuable. Pythagoras used to say, silence is the highest level of wisdom, who does not know silence, does not know how to speak. Silence to listen more, to learn more, and to be more peaceful. Silence to avoid unnecessary words, to avoid anger that hurts others. Silence is to share, to sympathize. Silence is to love and forgive. That is the value of silence. At the end of today's video, I invite you to listen to the story of the breadwinner and the gift of benevolence. Victor was born in a poor family in England. His parents had to work to make a living. Although they lived in poverty, each member did not lose their integrity, kindness, and benevolence. When he was a child, Victor met a poor breadwinner who begged for food. It was the middle of winter, and the wind and snow kept blowing. The breadwinner was hungry and cold. Victor's mother only had a few pennies, but she gave it all to the breadwinner. Victor looked at his mother and felt very confused. The mother told Victor, if we eat less, we can save a life. So Victor grew up in a situation where he always witnessed the words of his father and mother. A few years later, Victor grew up, once he met a friend, he met a beautiful girl. Then, very quickly, the two of them fell in love. But the girl's father was a judge who did not want his daughter to marry a poor young man with only two white hands, so he said, when you find 10,000 British pounds, you can propose to her. 10,000 British pounds, for a young man who has just come out of society, is really impossible. Victor was disappointed and went to find his good friend to talk for a long time, Daniel, Victor's friend, was a young painter who was drawing a portrait of a breadwinner. He invited a breadwinner to be a model. The person was wearing an old book shirt, not human, one hand against the broken one, one hand holding the bowl facing forward, and a few wrinkles on the forehead. Victor was moved because he remembered the breadwinner who lived in front of his house. Talking for a while, he learned that his friend had paid the breadwinner 10,000 British pounds per hour. Victor was not ashamed of his friend's modesty. At this time, the breadwinner in front of his house reported that someone was looking for Daniel, so he hurried away and let Victor sit down with the breadwinner. Victor saw the breadwinner's pitiful appearance and took out a 10,000 British pounds and handed it to the breadwinner. Daniel had not returned yet. So Victor quickly put the 10,000 British pounds in the hands of the breadwinner. The breadwinner looked up, a little surprised, then accepted without saying a word. Then, in a group of friends, Victor met Daniel again. He asked to see if Daniel's breadwinner's portrait had been completed. Daniel told Victor that the breadwinner was General Alfred Adler, a famous aristocrat. His business was numerous. Every year, he donated a large amount of charity money to organizations and universities. He was afraid to let Daniel draw himself as a breadwinner out of curiosity. He wanted to know what would happen if he were a breadwinner. After hearing this situation, Victor felt extremely ashamed of his arrogant behavior at that time. He was the breadwinner, and he only had a small amount of money to donate. Not long after, Victor received a letter from General Alfred Adler. In the letter, he wrote young man, I am proud of your honest charity and kind heart, I was told by Daniel about your beautiful love story. This letter may help you turn that beautiful love story into reality. In the letter, there is also a congratulatory card with 10,000 English notes written as follows a wedding gift for Victor and Mrs. Adler a bouquet of roses, as a gift, ladies and gentlemen, life is always fair, if you treat this person well, that person may not answer you right away. But in the future, they or someone else will have the opportunity to answer you. So don't hesitate to give away when you have a chance, just give away. 
you will receive hundreds of thousands of love. Give love to receive love and what is received sometimes is a lot of times, that is bliss. That is peace in the soul. That is the unmeasurable love, the love that we receive in the present or the future is the sweet fruit of the love that we have given away. So let's share and give away the good things to receive the joy in the soul, the happiness in life. Thank you for listening, goodbye, and see you again.